Today we are going to discuss some of the problems on properties of DFT. First problem, given that x1 of n is equal to 2, 4, 6, 3 and x2 of n is equal to 1, 3, 2, 1. First one, find the four point circular convolution of x one of n with x two of n. Second one, find the linear convolution of Two sequences. Third one, if the length of the resulting sequence in second question is n one, then Evaluate n one point circular convolution of x one of n with x two of n. What one? Compare the results of part two and three and comment on it. So first one we have to find out four point circular convolution of the given sequences. So we know the easy method, matrix method. So directly we can use that and uh, we can find out. First write the formula. Y of n is equal to x1 of n. 4 point circular convolution with x2 of n. Or y of n is equal to summation m is equal to 0 to 3. x1 of m into x2 of n minus m of 4. Where n varies between 0 to 3. So using matrix method, we can find out y of 0, y of 1, y of 2, y of 3, which is equal to first we have to write the given sequence. One, the given sequence is uh, uh, one, three, two, one. Next, uh, in the last uh, video, we have discussed how to write easy, easy way to write the matrix. This will go up one, one, three, two, two, one, one, three, three, two, one, one. That should be multiplied with the next one of n. Two, four. 6, 3. So if you matrix these two, multiply these two matrix, we get the answer as 27, 22, 25 and 31. Then y of n is equal to 27, 22, 25 and 31. Second one, we have to do linear convolution. Let 
zeta of n is equal to x1 of n linear convolution with x2 of n or zeta of n is equal to summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of k into x2 of n minus k using table method to solve linear convolution already we have discussed this in signal sense system we can find out the value of linear convolution x1 of k is equal to 2,4,6,3 and x2 of k is equal to 1,3,2,1 Now we have to find out x2 of minus k that is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 1. Either we can write it in the linear scale and we can find out or that we can write the replicas. So we can find out using table method at 10 is equal to 0. So 2, 4, 6, 3 and the value is 1. 2, 3, 1. So we have to add, multiply and we have to add. So here it is 2 into 1, answer will be 2. That is z of 0. Then at n is equal to 1, 2, 4, 6, 3. Write the sequence by 1 in it. Then it is 1, 2, 3, 1. z of 1 is 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10. At n is equal to 2, 2, 4, 6, 3. Once again, shift the sequence by 1 and it. 1, 2, 3, 1. Multiply and add it. 4 plus 12 plus 6, that is 22, which is z of 2. Then z of 3, that means at n is equal to 3. Two, four, six, three, one, two, three, one. Two plus eight plus eighteen plus three. That means thirty one. That is that of three. Then that of four. That means at ten is equal to four. 2, 4, 6, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. That is that of 4 is equal to 4 plus 12 plus 9 plus 1. That is 25. So 0, last one is 0. It is 25. Then at 10 is equal to 5. 2, 4, 6, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. 6 plus 6, z of 5, which is equal to 12. Then at 10 is equal to 6. 2, 4, 6, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. It's 3 itself, z of 6. Then we can write z of n is equal to 2, comma 10. All the values we have to write. 22, 31, 25, 12, 3. Now, note that x of n has 7 samples. n1 is equal to 7, length is 7. Which is equal to what? L1 plus L2 minus 1. That means L1 is length of the given first given sequence 4 plus 4 minus 1. Where L1 is equal to length of x1 of n which is equal to 4. L2 is equal to length of x2 of n which is equal to 4. Now, third question W of n is equal to x1 of n 
seven point circular convolution with x two half and it is given n one point circular convolution we have to do. Then x one is four point we have to add three more zeros two comma four comma six comma three and three zeros we have to add. X two of n is equal to one comma three comma two comma one three zeros we have to add. Then W of n is equal to summation m is equal to zero to six x one of m into x two of n minus m of seven. Now we can use matrix method. Using matrix method, W of zero, W of one, W of two, W of three, W of four, W of five, and W of six is equal to any sequence we can write one, three, two, one. Zero zero zero. We have to check one three two one zero zero one three two one zero 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 one three two one one zero 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 one three two two one. Zero 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 one three three one three two one zero 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 one into second sequence two four six three zero zero zero. So if you multiply this, we get two, ten, twenty-two, thirty-one, twenty-five, twelve, and three. Then W of n is equal to two comma ten comma twelve, twenty-two comma thirty-one comma twenty-five comma twelve comma three. This is the answer. So, fourth question: Comparing z of n is the and omega of w of n in part number two and three. We can see x one of n with circular convolution of x two of n. Is equal to x one of n, n point circular convolution with x two of n, where n one is equal to l one plus l two minus one. Therefore, the result of linear convolution. Can be obtained through n one point circular convolution, where n one is equal to l one plus l two minus one. L one and l two are the Length of sequences x1 of n and x2 of n. Next problem: Find the linear convolution of the sequences. X one of n is equal to two comma four comma six comma one, and x two of n 
is equal to 3 comma 0 comma 2 by means of circular convolution and verify the result by directly performing the linear convolution it is given x1 of n is equal to 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 1 x2 of n is equal to 3 comma 0 comma 1 3 comma 0 comma 2 so first one length of the first sequence l1 is equal to 4 length of second sequence l2 is equal to 3 then n is equal to L1 plus L2 minus 1 which is equal to 4 plus 3 minus 1 is equal to 6. Then x3 of n is equal to x1 of n 6 point circular convolution with x2 of n or x3 of n is equal to summation m is equal to 0 to 3 x1 of m into x2 of n minus m of 6. Then to make equivalent x1 of n is equal to 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 1 uh, we have to add two zeros x2 of n is equal to 3 comma 0 comma 2 comma 0 0 0 then using matrix method x3 of 0, x3 of 1, x3 of 2, x3 of 3, x3 of 4 and x3 of 5 is equal to 3 comma 0 2 0 0 0 0 3 0 2 0 0 0 0 3 0 2 0 0 0 0 3 0 2 2 0 0 0 3 0 0 2 0 0 0 3 that should be multiplied with 2, 4, 6, 1, 0, 0, which is equal to 6, 12, 22, 11, 12, and 2. Then x3 of n is equal to 6, 12, 22, 11, 12, 2. Call it as equation number 1. Let us perform linear convolution. We know table method. Using that method directly we can calculate linear convolution. X1 of K 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 1 x2 of k is equal to 3 comma 0 comma 2 then x2 of minus k is equal to 2 comma 0 comma 3 then x3 of n is equal to summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of k into x2 of n minus k then at n is equal to 0 
Next, uh, we are going to discuss about computation of circular convolution. using DFT and IDFT which is also known as Stockham's method. This is important. It is also known as Frequency domain approach of computing circular convolution. Now consider n point circular convolution. of the sequence x1 of n and x2 of n then we know that x3 of n is equal to x1 of n n point circular combination with x2 of n now taking dft on both sides we get x3 of k is equal to x1 of k into x2 of k call it as equation number 1 we can find x3 of n from x3 of k by applying following steps first one find the end point dfts of x1 of k 
and x2 of k of the sequences x1 of n and x2 of n respectively second step find x3 of k by multiplying x1 of k and x2 of k third point or third step find the idft of x3 of k and obtain x3 of n the previous steps can be represented with block diagram as shown below that means in point dft x1 of n is the sequence we have to find out in point dft we get x1 of k similarly we have second sequence x2 of n we have to find out in point dft we get x2 of k then we have to multiply both we will get x3 of k we have to take n point idft we get x3 of n we we'll solve the problem on this find the circular convolution of the sequence x1 of n is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 1 comma 1 dx2 of n is equal to 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 3 using dft and idft that means we have to use stock hand method or we can say frequency domain approach and verify the result by directly performing circular convolution in time domain x1 of n is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 1 comma 1 x2 of n is equal to 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 3 taking dft on both sides of x3 of n is equal to x1 of n four point circular convolution with x2 of n we get x3 of k is equal to x1 of k into x2 of k when x1 of k is equal to dft of x1 of n x2 of k is equal to dft of x2 of n then x1 of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 
x1 of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by 4 where k varies from 0 to 3. Now using matrix method or we can use expansion method also. But matrix method is easy to calculate. We can calculate x1 of 0, x1 of 1, x1 of 2 and x1 of 3 is equal to 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 minus j plus j plus j minus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and here it is 1 that should be multiplied by 2 3 1 and 1 which is equal to 7 1 minus 2j minus 1 and 1 plus 2j then we can write x1 of k is equal to 7 comma 1 minus 2j comma minus 1 comma 1 plus 2j then x2 of k is equal to d of t of x2 of n which is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x2 of n into e power minus j 2 pi in k by 4 then x2 of 0 x2 of 1 x2 of 2 x2 of 3 is equal to 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 minus j plus j j minus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 which should be multiplied by 1 3 5 3 we get the answer as 12 minus 4 0 and minus 4 Then x2 of k is equal to 12 minus 4, 0 and minus 4. We know that x3 of k is equal to multiplication of x1 of k and x2 of k. Then we get x3 of k is equal to 84 minus 4 plus 8j, 0 and 4 minus AJ. Let us find x3 of n using matrix method. That means x3 of 0, x3 of 1, x3 of 2, and x3 of 3. We have to find out IDFT of that. Then it is 1 by n, that means 1 by 4 into 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1 j minus j minus j plus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 into 1 which would be multiplied by 84 minus 4 plus 8j 0 4 minus 8j then x3 of n is equal to 19, 17, 23 and 25. Call it as equation number 1. Then uh, we have to verify this using time domain approach. Then x1 of n is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 1 comma 1 x2 of n is equal to 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 3 then x3 of n is equal to x1 of n 4 point circular convolution with x2 of n so we can use matrix method once again then x3 of 0 
x3 of 1, x3 of 2, x3 of 3 is equal to 1, 3, 5, 3, 3, 1, 3, 5, 5, 3, 1, 3, 3, 5, 3, 1. That should be multiplied by 2, 3, 1, 1, which is equal to 19, 17, 23 and 25. The next 3 of n is equal to 19, 17, 23, 25. Call it as equation number 2. So we can say from equation number 1 and 2, the results are same.